Oh dear God, please, I hope this works. Oh boy. All right, let's Ooh. find out. What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning into another video. Today we have a special one for you. We're gonna be reviewing the GNC Mad Pony Energy Drink. And today I have my good friend Evan here with me. Hey, uh, I'm Evan. I'm a certified personal trainer through American College of Sports Medicine. And I also have an Associates of Science in uh, Health, Fitness and Nutrition, so. So for the most part, he knows what he's talking about. And I'm normally pretty harsh on GNC's products. So I brought him in here to make sure that I'm not too, too harsh on it. Full disclosure, uh, we did both work for GNC as sales associates. But don't worry, we do not work there anymore. So we can be as harsh on these products as we want to be. So GNC's Mad Pony is GNC's attempt to enter the booming energy drink industry. Um, they had their Beyond Raw Lit RTDs, they were not energy drinks, that's the difference. Um, so at 200 milligrams caffeine, this comes in lower than Bang Energy and a lot of other energy drinks. Um, there's really not much to it, you know, 10 calories from three carbs uh, and some, uh, some B vitamins in there. So yeah, basically what Mad Pony is, is they were going for an all around decent energy drink. They didn't want just the pre-workout. They didn't want just the little equivalent to a cup of coffee. They wanted the full blown all the time energy drink. They want you to do this while you're studying. They want you to do it while you're going to work out. They want you to do it when you're just trying to wake up in the morning. It's very basic. As mentioned, the 200 milligrams caffeine, there's nothing really crazy in it. There's no cognizant, nothing like that. And like I said, they're really just going for a basic all around energy drink, only 10 calories, no sugar, no artificial flavors, all the things like that. It's a decent all around energy drink, at least ingredient wise. And one more weird thing about these Mad Pony energy drinks is they actually have the food dye in them. You normally don't see that with energy drinks nowadays because a lot of people don't want the food coloring. They just want a clear drink that doesn't have anything fishy about it. But GNC is kind of strange and they've done things like this in the past and here we are with more colored energy drinks. It's a choice. <laughs> so yeah, GNC definitely, I feel like this was kind of thrown together just trying to compete with Bang and Rain and things like that. You know, they see these companies selling these energy drinks like crazy and they really don't have one to call their own. As Evan mentioned, they do have the GNC Lit, but that is 100% a pre-workout. It's a ready to drink of their pre-workout powder. So they were really going for an all around energy drink. When these were launched, I actually was still working for GNC and we had no communication coming down that they were being launched at all. I went out to Eastern Mass. Uh, Auburn, so they kind of just came out of nowhere. Yeah, so it was just like, bam, we have an energy drink. So there was not a whole lot of, you know, how are we gonna sell this? So it was, it was an interesting one to say the least. See, I definitely got the vibe they really rushed it because like I said, I wasn't too impressed with the ingredient layout that much. And I just walk into GNC one day and they have this energy drink that looks like a basic can with a pony painted on it. So, um, mad pony. So yeah, let's talk about how it was. All right guys, so is this energy drink worth trying? How did it work? So I remember the first one I had, and we're gonna talk about the flavors in a little bit, but I did not finish it. I got about halfway through. But once I was finally able to actually stomach one of these, it, I was actually kind of impressed with it. You know, the 200 milligrams of caffeine is a very comfortable amount. You're not gonna quite get what you normally get out of a rain or a bang energy, but it's really not that bad. Results wise, it was not too bad. Yeah, as, as far as feeling caffeine, it's, it's there, um, but I mean, you know, like, like Cody always talks about, I wouldn't buy this for the taste. Like I said, it's a good mil middle of the line energy drink. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't overpowering. Yeah. And another thing to keep in mind, there isn't anything extra in here. There's no cognizant like C4 has, so you're not gonna get that extreme focus. It's literally just a decent wake up energy drink. And honestly, I really wanted to hate it, but it does do that quite well. Yeah, effective. All right, guys, next we're going to talk about how they taste. And we're actually, Evan recommended we try these right in front of you guys, which frankly, I told myself I wasn't gonna have these again because they really weren't that good, but we're gonna give them a second try today. So we're gonna start with the orange mango. 
and then we'll go to the watermelon and then to the cherry blast. All right, guys, let's start with the orange mango. And again, as you can see, it does have that, that orange color to it. It's not like really orange, like a freeze pop or something, but it does have that extra food coloring in it. All right, so second time through, what do you think? I, I said it's not as bad as I remember it. Um, what was, you know, what's your thought? So the overall taste is not that bad. You definitely get the orange mango from it. My biggest issue is there's something in it. It's almost like sour. It, I, I get a weird like, mouth feel. I almost feel like I have to pucker when I, when I take a sip of it. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want that in my energy drinks. Yeah, it, it just, I don't know. It's thin, but it doesn't have that on the tongue. Like uh, something's off. For sure. Extremely carbonated. Yeah. You do get the orange mango, but like I said, it has a weird, dare I say, pucker factor to it. You feel like you feel like you have to suck your cheeks in, and it it's it's definitely a tough taste. Um, I would give this flavor, oh my god, probably a five out of ten. I and I'm a big orange mango guy. I, the flavor itself, it just isn't uh, that good. Yeah, four or five. So, so you're with me on the yeah. on the four or five out of ten? Yeah. All right. I see. I'm just making sure I'm not being too harsh on it. But all right. So four or five out of ten for the orange mango. All right. Let's talk about the watermelon next. This one. Oh my God. That one's very colored. You know what I mean? I really just don't understand why they have to use the dye. It's a lot like, of dye. I don't really care what color it is. Just let it go with its natural color. If you're using natural flavors like watermelon, it should be pink naturally. But what do I know? Yeah. I'm I don't work in a factory. All right, guys, so the watermelon. Um, I will say this one is slightly better right off the bat. Yeah, I, I, um, I this is the one I remember because I tried it last. It reminds me of um, like the watermelon, uh, what are they, Dum Dum Pops, when you get from yeah. the bank. Yeah, they, um, they really, uh, it's really a good one, and it's got the least of that sort of aftertaste, mouthfeel, however we, whatever is off, that has the least of it. Yeah, it definitely still has a little bit of that kind of like, I, I just put a sour candy in my Trade mouth type bar. of feel. Um, it's <laughs> it's not as bad, but it is a heavy artificial watermelon taste. Um, I'm really shocked that it says natural flavors on the can. I'm sure nobody fact checked them on that, but it, it, it tastes very artificial. It tastes like candy. It doesn't taste very natural watermelony. But if you like that heavy candy, sweet, artificial watermelon, then it's a pretty decent taste. It's a candy watermelon. So frankly, the watermelon was a little bit better than the orange mango. Uh, I'm willing to go as high as seven on this one, actually. Yeah, I was I was gonna say six as like a relative. It, it's hard because you're comparing it within the line. And it's definitely the best in the line, but I definitely wouldn't put it anywhere near most Bang flavors. Yeah, if I compared it between all energy drinks, I'd also go, yeah, I'll go six on this one, actually. Yeah. So we have a four or a five for the orange mango, and then a six for the watermelon. Let's see how Cherry Blast stacks up against these two. So we actually ran into some uh, technical difficulties where Evan and I were filming. So I got to finish this one up solo. I'll actually link Evan's channel down in the description. He plans on doing more videos regarding fitness, more of the scientific aspect, things like that. So go drop him a follow and it's time to try the Cherry Berry. It's not actually called Cherry Blast, it is Cherry Berry. And uh, yeah, I told myself I wasn't gonna try this one, but Evan wanted to do the video with tasting them so we're gonna get it done now the cherry berry i knew this was by far the worst one this was the first mad pony i tried and it really was not good at all it has that kind of sour candy factor where you kind of want to pucker up um it tastes like cherry but it tastes very artificial cherry it's very strong it's almost like one of those crappy store brand sugar-free drink powders you buy and mix into a drink but they mixed it way too strong it's got a very red color to it and overall it's really just not that good i'm giving this one a two out of ten i really would not drink it again again it's it's just not good it's a very strong flavor it's a very bad flavor it tastes like cherry, but it's just overpowering and not very good. I would not buy this again. I would not recommend anyone to try it. 
2 out of 10 for this one. Okay guys, so to recap, that leaves a 5 or 6 out of 10 for the orange mango. I believe a 7 out of 10 for the watermelon, maybe even 6. I'm not quite sure what we figured out to uh, rate that one. And then a 2 for the cherry berry, which is by far the worst. So if you're going to try one, I'd go for the watermelon, but do not get your hopes up. It's not really good. It's just slightly better than the other two flavors. So let's talk about the can appearance really quick. And frankly, it looks like a crappy can that like an energy drink you'd get from like the dollar store that some com some random third party company made. It's really just a plain silver can. It's got no extravagant label. It just has that kind of cool pony printed on it. And then of course, Mad Pony. Um, they have the GNC logo right above it. So they have no shame in telling you that they made this. And uh, yeah, I just really wasn't impressed with it too much overall, the can, the taste, but the performance was average. Just one more funny thing I noticed, these two actually say natural flavors. The cherry berry, the worst one, actually says natural and artificial flavors. So that tells me they were trying everything to make this not taste bad, but uh, they did not do a very good job. So guys, overall, I honestly give these drinks a four out of 10 on the spectrum of energy drinks. They're really not that great. The feeling from them was average. The taste was relatively terrible and they cost about the same as regular energy drinks. It's not like they're cheaper or anything because they're at GNC. There's no special deal on them. So they really do get a low rating in my opinion. And I really won't be buying these again, but I was excited to review them for you guys so that if you were thinking about trying these, you know what to expect. Again, they're GNC, they're only sold at GNC, so if you don't buy your energy drinks at GNC, you don't have to worry about running into them. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Click subscribe if you are new to the channel. Click like if you like the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And yeah, sorry Evan couldn't be around to finish the video off. Uh, let me know what you thought. I'll try to do more videos with him in the future. He's a really smart guy. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and tune in for next video.